One of the greatest threats we face, simply put, is bullshit. We hit peak bullshit on February 28, 2012. Two things happened on that day. One, Mitt Romney won the Michigan and Arizona primaries, thereby stopping the candidacy of Rick Santorum and securing his place as the most disingenuous major presidential candidate in modern political history. And I don't say that as a Democrat, I say that as a human being with eyes, but there's more. When the righteous, beloved, sad, desperate Lorax attempted to sell an SUV to an audience of captivated children. This was peak bullshit. We are drowning in it. We are, we are drowning in partisan rhetoric that is just true enough not to be a lie, in industry-sponsored research, in social media's imitation of human connection, in legalese and corporate doublespeak. It infects every facet of public life, corrupting our discourse, wrecking our trust in major institutions, lowering our standards for the truth, and making it harder to achieve anything. Now was the time to take risks. Now was the time not to be safe, that there would be time for safe that there would be time for offices and stability and sacrifices and savings accounts, but this was the rare moment when a human being could be free, free to write and dream and walk the earth and shout at power and dance, dance with beautiful strangers. But what we need and what is possible is a renaissance of integrity. You have to be confident in your potential and aware of your inexperience, and that's really tough. There are moments when you have to have a, you'll, you'll have a different point of view because you're a fresh set of eyes because you don't care how it's been done before, because you're sharp and creative, because there is another way, a better way. And what I hope you'll do, not out of charity or corporate responsibility, but out of brute self-interest, is go to that Monday morning meeting, the one where everyone is on their phones and that always starts 10 minutes late, 10 minutes late and ask, where are we not telling the truth? All you have to do is avoid BSing yourself in whatever you choose to do to avoid the path of the sad gay judge filled with regret, to go forward with confidence and an eagerness to learn, and to be honest with yourselves and others, to reject a culture of insincerity by virtue of the example you set in your own lives. And I say this only as someone hoping to do the same along with you for the ride.